Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. So today I am going to talk about RF branch of IIT Kharagpur. So people are asking continuously about this branch because uh, now the COP rounds are already started. So people are getting this branch as an offer. So I will cover a few important points like what are the previous placements, what are the companies, what is the coursework here, what are the electives, and many more things. So in this presentation, I have designed a few slides where I will cover each and everything. Okay, so I am going to proceed like this. So first thing is content of this branch, so, or not a content of this branch, it is like content of this presentation, which is like uh, first introduction, then coursework, placements, project work, and then summary. So in the introduction part, I can see that this branch comes under the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. And the number of students last year was around uh, 18 people were there. And this time also it is around 20 people. Uh, it is around 20 people. And uh, in the introduction part, I have also mentioned here the industrial support, curriculum work and project work. So these things I will cover later on. But important thing is here is that uh, this branch comes under the department of EC. And so if I talk about its coursework its structure, then I have listed down here the semester one coursework and semester two coursework according to the core subjects and electives. So in core subjects, there are subjects mentioned like advanced electromagnetics engineering, then analytical and computational techniques in electromagnetics and uh, active and passive RF components, then RF and microwave circuits laboratory and seminar work. So you can literally see here that all the subjects, whatever the four subjects are here and whatever the electives are there, I'll explain about the electives also. So electives here are optical fiber components and devices for optical communication, satellite communication or VLSI interconnect. So these were the you know, electives uh, offered in semester one. So now what are the core subjects? Actually, these core subjects are all related to your uh, RF field, basically electromagnetic field theory, EMFT and communication. So people who are really interested in making their career towards the RF side of, you can expect a good part of EMFT and communication. So. People who want to join this branch and who are getting the offer in the first or second round, whatever the COAP, so they can expect uh, the in-depth uh, curriculum work here regarding the EMFT and communication. So please be aware of this thing. You cannot get uh, good exposure here for this, uh, like analog subjects, digital subjects. If you are expecting that uh, placements in VLSI domain, then it is a uh, tough here, I can say. It is not that easy. But uh, basically, this branch is going to offer you more toward the EMFT and the communication part. So people really want to join this, have to focus there. So these all subjects that I have mentioned here in the core, these are the must do subject in the semester one and all are related to your EMFT and uh, anyhow this uh, you know, field of your uh, communication engineering. In the, in the seminar one, there you have to present your uh, work idea, uh, whatever the uh, can say uh, topic you have allotted. You have to visit research paper and do some analysis and basis on that you have to present your ideas. So this is good work and uh, this uh, is uh, available in all other branches also. I have mentioned previous videos. At seminar work is like you will get the exposure how to deal with the research papers and how to analyze the uh, exact uh, work of um, uh, or can say idea of that project and uh, it is a nothing but uh, like uh, exposure to explain yourself on the basis of research papers. Now these electives are also like so here the third electives that is mentioned is the VLSI interconnect. It is VLSI interconnect. Uh, also, it, it, it was also offered to other branches like IIE. It was also offered to the, that branch. Uh, VLSI people were also there. But uh, you cannot expect uh, much things related to VLSI here. These are, uh, this is simply a, a course where we can uh, get the idea of on chip interconnections or uh, the uh, connections between the different components. 
so it is little bit about that not much uh, or no, not in depth uh, knowledge of uh, VLS every here so overall i can conclude from the semester one uh, course structure these are the electives you can opt according to so from this curriculum work of the semester one you can expect that people who are interested in field of electromagnetic uh, engineering and the communication background uh, or, or want to build their profile in rf field can join this thing and you cannot expect uh, much about the vlsa here i i can again mention it and in the semester two again you can see that the coursework is here uh, like in the core you can expect your design laboratory which is uh, going to give you the idea of uh, some basic uh, designs like uh, maybe the antenna design maybe there or some other uh, components design related to the rf or basis on the or uh, uh, softwares that they use and after that, the antenna theory and practice, micro and liter, millimeter wave integrated circuits. Here you will get the idea of uh, IC design or you can say on the micro and millimeter wave. So, and uh, the fourth is your antenna and EMI or EMC laboratory. So EMI, you know that the electromagnetic interference and EMC is a EMC is a method of how uh, how we can uh, reduce or how we can protect our system from the EMI. So these are the important things here. And in project one, project one in this semester two is like uh, whatever the major project we want to do in your M Tech. So it is a basic idea or can say analysis of research papers and the proposed idea of that paper we have to present here as a project one. So it depends on the faculty members and how they uh, how they ask you about this project. And in uh, my case of the IIE branch, this was nothing but uh, collect the information and uh, make the presentation and present it. So this is the uh, for two credits here, uh, the project one. And it's, uh, um, okay, so it's a large version we can see at the final project of the MTEC that is going to be done in second or th fourth, third or fourth semester. And uh, yes, so again, you can see here that all the subjects are related to the uh, EMI, uh, not EMI, is an electromagnetic field here. And electives, these uh, these are the electives in the list of the electives uh, was offered in the semester two, where you can opt the required electives according to your need. Because people who are interested in whatever the course they want to do is uh, nothing but can we opt from the electives list. But the core subjects are must two subject here. So here the RF and microwave networks, EMI and EMC techniques, radar signature analysis and radar imaging, integrated nanophotonics and mixed signal and RF design. So in this list of this uh, the electives, uh, this is mixed signal and RF design was also offered to other branches like uh, IIE people were also doing this, VLSA people were also doing this course. So according to my experience, this course is good uh, to expose you toward the analog field uh, and uh, you are going to interact with the uh, more toward the uh, amplifier analysis here, or, uh, or can say RF amplifiers here, not really exactly what the basic amplifiers we deal with in, in analog, but here the RF amplifiers. So uh, low noise, low noise amplifiers, then PLL designs and other things are going to exposed here. Uh, so you can expect good things here regarding to the analog. And uh, more important thing here is that uh, whatever the course you are going to deal with here. You have to be little bit idea of basics of analog also. You cannot uh, see that uh, in information of e uh, EMFT and information of communication is only going to work here. But but you must have the idea of basic or a basic analysis of uh, analog electronics. All the amplifier topologies you must be clear with these things. And before coming to this branch, and uh, moreover, uh, I can say um, you must have the idea of. Uh, uh, this idea of uh, in-depth analysis of like uh, different amplifier topology, small signal analysis, then you must have the idea of uh, can say basic uh, network theory also because network theorems are going to work here. The strong analysis of uh, KVL, KCL, these are the important things or basic things that must we must have here. And uh, now come to the project work. So, the project work of this branch is also more related toward this the the field of RF, uh, not exactly toward this VLSI field. So here the low noise amplifier, the phase lock loop. So these are the important things we use in the communication 
or when we deal with the uh, simple uh, transmission of data uh, or can say between our cell phones or, and whatever the communications medium are here. And so low noise amplifier is very important in the uh, uh, in in the chain of uh, communication and uh, phase lock loop is also very important here. So these are the project list you can see here. And uh, these all are uh, basically uh, related to your RF and communication uh, background, but you can expect a good thing. And you must have the idea of analog electronics also because low noise amplifier, basically you're going to deal with the amplifier. So this amplifier is, the analysis of this amplifier is also according uh, whatever we do the analysis in uh, analog electronics uh, for the simple amplifier. But here the case of the, we are dealing with the RF frequencies and the PLN is a very important block here. PLN is a very important block here. So these are the projects that are going to really give you the worth when you are dealing with these projects, when you are going to join the industry. So, but the scope is uh, after doing this projects and whatever the course of curriculum work here, you will get uh, more opportunity toward the uh, toward the RF field. And uh, then a phase shifter, uh, power harvesting, substrate integrated waveguides, frequency detector, ground penetrating antenna, on chip antenna. So these uh, projects work are. So these are the uh, some uh, projects uh, that uh, people are doing currently doing in their. Uh, as an mtech project so yeah these are the topics which people are currently doing at their mtech projects and uh, yes so i can conclude here that i have mentioned uh, this uh, so i have mentioned here that uh, last year 18 students were there and this time around 20 people are there and this is the semester one coursework this is the semester two coursework and after that the project work and uh, yes if i talk about the placements here then uh, last year, out of 18 people, I have to be really, uh, uh, I have to be frank with this thing that out of the 80 people, uh, seven got placed here in campus and uh, whosoever are not placed here. Okay. I cannot see that people are not placed, but I can say that in, in, uh, in campus, uh, the companies for, especially for the RF profile, uh, are less, I can say in comparison of uh, VLSI domain. So these were the companies last year visited, especially have taken the people uh, from this RF background, the Samsung, TSMC, Intel, Qualcomm, and Express Semiconductor, and VEL, uh, 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 means Bharat Electronic Limited. And uh, whatever the coursework or curriculum work is uh, provided here, the, this curriculum work has the other industrial support also. This is the ISRO, DRDU, NCIS, SLN, Wipro. So overall, I can say here that you can build your yourself very strong on the basis of the coursework here, on the project work here. But and uh, there is no can say problem in the placements. Uh, but uh, in uh, uh, campus, you might not be getting the uh, proper placements here, uh, or can say fifty percent or so forty percent placements are there on the data I got uh, that the previous year. But the industrial support is good. You can uh, try outside the campus. And uh, there is a huge possibility that if you are completing your RF course from IIT Karako, then it is uh, can say almost clear that if you are applying outside the campus, you will definitely get placed there uh, for the RF profile. So this is the good industrial support here. Uh, so you can expect the good placements outside the campus also. Because you have one, the one thing is you have a uh, good uh, background of RF, you have good background of coursework here, and you have good background of project work here. And uh, so this, this is the industry support. If companies are coming less here, then you can apply outside. And this is a simple thing that I got, uh, I got uh, uh, to know about this thing from the seniors or uh, my batchmates of RF, RF branch. So you can apply from outside also. So these are the basic things. And yeah, one, one more thing that I have to mention here, people are also asking that what are the placements uh, uh, in RF if they want to make it to convert into the VLSI domain. So you cannot expect much about the VLSI here because uh, whatever the course work um, is designed here and whatever the project work you are going to get here is going to support you more toward the RF domain. Very less exposure you are going to get uh, toward the VLSI. 
So it is really not easy here to build your VLSI profile. So people who are thinking very clearly that they are going to build their uh, RF profile or they want to join the RF uh, uh, side of the company, then uh, this is good for them. If you are thinking that uh, after joining this branch, you are going to build your VLSI profile, then this thing is really going to make some difficulties for you because you cannot get a good environment. But yeah, why even if you want to make the profile, then there is a no limitation or there is a no, but you can build anything. But basically, I have to mention here that uh, there is a very less exposure for this VLSI domain. All the course work and all the projects work are here uh, toward the RF only. So I think this is enough for uh, uh, the information about this RF branch. And, uh, and uh, later I can say, if you have any problem or if you want to know something more, then you can simply ask me and I can provide uh, more information. And... Uh, so this is enough for this video, I think. Thank you.